Are these all really the same product? Bead Maker, Paint Gloss, and Dream Maker? I'm gonna break it down for you guys in this video. Welcome back to the channel guys, Joel here with details. We're gonna get right into it. Today we're talking about Bead Maker, Paint Gloss, and Dream Maker. What are the differences? When to use them? Why to use them? And do you need them all? I'm first gonna start off with Bead Maker. Everybody knows Bead Maker. It's a sealant, it gives you protection, and it gives you crazy gloss. Sometimes it's difficult to work with depending on your humidity levels of the environment you're in the you know the temperature of the vehicle itself and then also the way that you're applying it so we have a couple couple techniques that we use for this um, in, in previous videos to show you guys how to apply it in in um, in compromising environmental situations but great product all around this was always my go-to and it still is so for protection this is what its primary use is is to have a protective barrier on your vehicle. So this is in the category of a synthetic sealant bead maker. So that's what bead maker is guys, that's what it does. Um, this guy does not have any cleaning capabilities. It's there to provide pr protection and shine post polishing, post washing of the vehicle, post contamination, or even just after a wash, a maintenance wash. Easy to apply, great stuff guys. So now we have paint gloss. Paint gloss is one that I slept on for an extremely long time. This has been in the lineup longer than both of these. Paint gloss is a fantastic quick detailer. Also has spray wax protection in it. So it has a little bit of protection in it. Not enough to give you, you know, months and months, but you know, maybe a couple of weeks, I would say out of this guy here. But this is a good, um, this is a great product for cleanups. We use it after every vehicle we wash because as a detail spray, you are able to clean. It has encapsulating solution in it. So what that's going to do is it's going to encapsulate the dirt so you're not scratching the surface when you spray it and wipe. So again, guys, bead maker for protection. Paint gloss will give you the, the shine that you want, but it's also going to be able to clean up areas. Maybe if you missed it during the wash. So this works on all surfaces of the vehicle, same as Bead Maker works on all surfaces of the vehicle, except for fabric surfaces. Uh, paint gloss, people use it as an anti-static um, for interior surfaces like carpets and floor mats to remove dog hair, pet hair. We don't really use it in that application. We primarily use it for our cleanup after the vehicle is already clean. Um, we also use it to clean windows also. Um, it's just a fantastic overall detail spray. You can use it as a, as a lubricant for clay barring as well, um, or if you're using a clay mitt. Um, so big difference between bead maker and the paint gloss is that the paint gloss is giving you a showroom shine. Very, very little, if any, protection. This guy here is going to give you the protection. Bead maker is going to give you the protection. This guy is going to clean. This doesn't clean, this cleans. So Hope that helps you guys out with the difference in both of these. Next up is going to be Dream Maker. If you guys have ever worked on any vehicles that are classic vehicles, single stage paint jobs, um, custom paint jobs, you know, hot rods, low riders, concourse vehicles, anything like that, when you're working at that level, the vehicles are already in pristine condition. Most of them are already you know immaculate for the most part if you're working at a certain level with people who take care of their vehicles in a certain way i'm not saying all of those types of vehicles are always in great condition but this pulls out the best out of those paint jobs out of a custom paint job out of a uh, a, a a vintage paint job that maybe has been untouched it's original lacquer and you want to keep the integrity of and the warmth of the the look and the feel of the vehicle and the saturation. This is just gonna help you give it a little bit of pop. This is that. This is the closest thing I've ever found to a, a show car glaze. Glazes are traditionally used just to give shine, just to enhance shine, just be a shine amplifier. And that's what this is um, categorized as, is a gloss amplifier for those types of vehicles. Those types of vehicles, um, you're not doing paint correction to those vehicles. This is literally show day type of, of application for these vehicles here, for that type of specific vehicle. Um, 
it's great. We use it on corrected vehicles as well because there is no protection in this guy at all. This is no protection, very little protection, best protection when it comes to spray format for, um, with from PNS. So I hope this clears up some, uh, some issues that you guys have. This guy I didn't have in our lineup for the longest time. And then when I did bring it into the lineup, now I'm starting to use this a little bit more than this. But there's times where I just want that shine, and this is unbeatable when it comes to these three. And then again, when we're when we're working with a ceramic coated vehicle, when we're working with a custom vehicle, when we're working with um, any type of vehicle that already has really good paint, and we don't need protection on it, we're going directly for this guy here. As you can see, I don't use a lot of this. I think I've gone through two pints and this much of a gallon in a little less than a year so we are this goes on very thick it's literally a show glaze in a spray form so we have a use for this we have a use for this we have a use for this uh we also use bead maker and this guy on some interior applications again be very careful when using them on interior applications you can cause some damage you can cause spotting you can cause discoloration so be very very careful before you do any of that uh, we also use these guys in a lot of off-label uses so if you guys have any questions uh, for our off-label uses you guys can always click the link in the description below to our consulting line and we can get into depth even further of how we use this um, in other ways that i haven't seen any other detailers using them so when we first started the business, I was only using this. I didn't really have a use for this or this, so I thought, but we tend to do a lot of different types of work. We do everything from fleet work to, um, to classic car collection work, to low riders, to hot rods, to show vehicles, um, everything in between motorcycles, motorhomes, horse trailers, you name it. So there's always application for one of these to be used. So depending on what we're looking to achieve and what we're looking to bring out in the vehicle, each of these are gonna have their place. Um, if you guys have any questions going forward with these guys, I'm gonna leave the description. I'm gonna leave the description for all three of these in the links below. I would recommend at least getting all of them. If you're not using any of them now, get all of them in a pint form. See which ones you guys like best. See which ones you guys often use the most with your detailing business. And then you could think about buying the gallon. I wouldn't go directly into a gallon. As I said, with this guy here, the Dream Maker, I've used very little and I've had this one for about eight months. Um, I've gone through two pints this year, but as far as um, you know, the gallon itself, I think I've only filled up one of those pints and I'm still working on that. So you may not need all three as we do, but it's nice to have all three of them if you do come across a situation where um, you know one would be more fitting than the other. Joel with details, if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to leave them in the comments. Let me know how you guys feel about Bead Maker, Paint Gloss, Dream Maker, if you think they're all the same. As in conclusion, Dream Maker, no protection. Paint Gloss, a little bit of protection, cleans. Bead Maker, the most protection from this lineup, and incredible gloss. All three are gonna give you guys great gloss. This one's gonna have protection, this one's gonna have very little protection, and it cleans. And this guy here simply gives you a gloss amplifier only. This guy, cleaner and gloss. This guy here, protection and gloss. So I hope that pretty much just sums it up for you guys. Also guys, you guys have all been asking, where do you guys get your gear? Where's your gear at? Where's your gear at? You want some of this fresh gear? We got it in our online store now. Check it out, our YouTube channel. Just go to the shop, hit the shop tab, and it's in our store. We got t-shirts, hoodies, crew necks for a limited time only. Again, Joel for details, Sal behind the camera. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. We'll catch you guys on the next one.